How you been? Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy, madam. Yeah. So as we are meeting very first time, so would you please introduce yourself? Okay, ma'am. Thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Bharat Ji. I'm 24 years old right now. I'm belong to Andhra Pradesh, native of Sikha Kalam district. Mm -hmm. Coming to my educational qualifications, I have done my graduation in BS stream from Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam. Uh, coming to the, my intermediate level, my intermediate level was done with aggregate of 79 percentage uh, from, uh, from government junior college. Mm -hmm. My schools uh, in government schools. My 10th standard, uh, in my 10th standard, I have passed with 70 percentage, uh, 70 percentage of aggregate. Uh, currently, I am pursuing MCA. Uh, mm -hmm. Coming to the my, coming to the, my uh, experience, I have no experience in any company or any organization, but I have mm -hmm. some about uh, Java and the SQL and C language, uh, some programming language knowledge. And also, mm -hmm. my short term goal and long term goal is my short term goal is to get opportunity in a reputed company. And mm -hmm. also, my long term goal is uh, I will be uh, proud in myself in a better position. So, mm -hmm. uh, what about my uh, weaknesses of strength? My greatest strength is that I have positive uh, attitude. And also, I'm always looking forward to hard work. Mm -hmm. is, uh, I'm not a public speaker and I'm not having uh, proper communication skills and I can't speak effectively uh, in front of any other people. Uh, mm -hmm. That is the, my weakness. Uh, but uh, I'm, now, I'm, uh, overcome this, now, now I'm trying to overcome this problem uh, through speaking with someone. Mm -hmm. um, coming to the habits, um, I, ha I have, I mean, um, my habits uh, doing exercises and doing meditation and also mm -hmm. listening to my habits. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely to know you. And uh, thank you for giving your introduction. And uh, let me introduce myself also. As you know, my name is Saraswati. Originally, I am from Uttar Pradesh, but currently I reside in Mumbai. And my education is I am BA BA. And apart from that, I also completed web designing course and worked in one particular software, which is Photoshop. But currently, I am a homemaker. And apart from that, I also running my YouTube channel. Yeah, that is a little bit about me. Yeah. So why do you want to communicate with me? As you are a good speaker, I can say, and you are pursuing your MCA. Yes. Yes, ma'am, I'm pursuing MCA. Uh, it stands for Masters of Computer Applications. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, I have seen your videos on uh, YouTube. Uh, no. Not, uh, not to totally, I'm not, uh, I have not uh, totally uh, seen your video, but just I have seen your video uh, for 14, I mean, five minutes or 10 minutes, maybe. I forgot that. Uh, mm -hmm. But I have seen your uh, communication skills and your. Uh, I mean, I were teaching and you were uh, in collaboration with the uh, co-learners. So mm -hmm. I really uh, enjoyed your session. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for how long have you been practicing this language? Uh, actually, madam, my whole education was done in my native language, Telugu medium. Uh, after completion mm -hmm. of my graduation, I am joining into the MCA. In the MCA, there is no Telugu medium. Uh, is, there is only uh, English medium is mandatory. So, yes. uh, so someone after joining of my MCA, everyone speaking English. So yes. uh, I'm got to I got to hesitation. So mm -hmm. that time, uh, my, my learning purpose of I mean uh, spoken English, uh, approximately it may be two months. Okay, means you joined some classes for spoken English. Yeah, I have joined for, for 45 days spoken English uh, before that. I, I completed the 45 classes. And also, I just have a little bit of knowledge about uh, which should I use, uh, on, I mean, uh, what is present, what is past, the what is mm -hmm. it, uh, where should we okay. use uh, kind of uh, pronouns, nouns, and also mm -hmm. helping with, and also web in the forms, so where should I we use, uh, the type of things, I just know about that. But madam, okay. uh, I'm... Please. In that 45 days, you learn grammar like uh, tenses and uh, parts of speech. 
these things no, you learned in 45 days along with that no ma'am in 45 days during my practice i have learned about only uh, 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 we should we use do does and also uh, can no could do may might to um, okay. tell will, will be will be and also uh, shall have and also some kind of verbs also a uh, tenses 12 tenses that's all that's it madam okay and uh, if you don't mind may i may i ask you how much money you paid for that no ma'am it is uh, it is totally free madam it is totally free okay in yes, in your area uh, there is some free classes and you attended that no ma'am uh, these all classes were uploaded in uh, youtube so okay. uh, you, you can watch madam uh, osista 360 classes for english which classes will you please suggest me osista 360 osista will you please spell out uh, v a s i t a osista okay osista yeah. english classes v p a s i s t a 360 for english 360 for english for english yes ma'am uh the sir was provided one book also uh, the book mm -hmm. what the i bought that book uh, at uh, 400 rupees okay mm -hmm. but on youtube there are you will get uh, many free classes or many youtube videos related to grammar portions like tenses modal verbs even parts of speech and you can clear all your doubts there also Yes, ma'am. Without any paying even a single rupee. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. But uh, one thing uh, I enjoy my communication skills because uh, I am speaking uh, confidently. Sometimes mm -hmm. while speaking, I am not getting proper situational sentences, proper situational vocabularies. Yeah. I That think you know this is the problem of everyone who is learning this language. because of sometimes uh, lack of vocabulary sometimes uh, we are not finding proper word on a exact particular situation so we yes. get stuck yeah mm. also uh, at present i don't have any grammatical knowledge also as per my school knowledge i know uh, where should we use on at to the this type of articles i know that how to use but i don't have proper knowledge about grammar okay. uh so what should i do madam now uh, according to me as you told that you attended 45 days classes and you learned their a uh, basic grammar that is important for spoken english so yes. that is enough just start to practice with that start to communicate with different person when you communicate on daily basis so you will get to know where you do mistake so one day by day you will start to improve also okay yes and if you find that yes this part is you know i am not strong in that particular part like i am not able to use proper prepositions so you can uh, watch videos on youtube related to prepositions so you can able to use prepositions on proper way in a proper way but practice is very important yes ma'am uh, recently i realized that practice and consistency is most important okay. uh, learning because uh, i have one experience on this uh, latter days uh, i used to uh, speak for one year i mean uh, for one month mm -hmm. after that uh, to some kind of uh, other works and not able to i couldn't practice daily they speaking mm -hmm. so after some days i couldn't speak very well but yeah. at present i have, I have again uh, practice and i have again i mean i, mean, uh, I again try to learn uh, consistently now i am just uh, now i am just constantly speaking yes but that I, is very I, important i would like i would uh, i would like to ask Uh, can you speak uh, english without translation 
without translation medium uh, i co- i couldn't understand you and you are from telugu medium as you told that i studied from telugu medium so yes, at ma'am. the time of speaking first you translate that sentence are you just uh, start to speak in english in uh, you think in english and start to speak in english also some people have habit like first they translate as i just give you uh, uh, give you an example uh, like मैं खाना खाता हूँ सो यू विल थिंक मैं खाना खाता हूँ आई ईट फूड सो यू लुक यू डू लाइक दैट आर यू जस्ट यस आई ईट फूड दैट टाइप ऑफ वेयर आई डोंट आई डोंट नीड जस्ट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज इफ यू ट्रांसलेट सो यू विल नेवर गेट फ्लुएंसी जस्ट थिंक इन इंग्लिश and yes, try to speak in english not translate because if you translate so you will not get fluency soon yes ma'am i and understand I think, are you able to use different words or different tenses uh, t- uh, tenses at the time of speaking like past tense future tense present tense Yes, ma'am. Uh, could you please repeat your question? Can you use different tenses or verbs at the time of speaking? Yes, ma'am. I can use, ma'am. Uh, but sometimes yes, I'm going to. Yes, it's also a good sign if you are able to use as I ate. When I ate, I ate. I eat. I eat. Ma'am, please eat. just let's give just uh, give a second. Amira, how can I record this video? Yes, it is already recorded. In your side also, you will get the recording. Don't so worry. Can I get this video after the conversation? Yes, yes. After this conversation, you will get the recording. Along with that, I will also get the recording. Thank Both you, side ma'am. person will get the record recording. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. No Thank worries. You. Okay. Ma'am. Okay. so it is also a good sign that you are able to use different words and different sentences according to the situation yes ma'am uh, situationally i can use uh, where should we use uh, where should i use uh, past and where should i use uh, future where should i use present i know that madam how can i use and uh, sometimes while speaking i'm also uh, applying these rules while speaking with someone but yes. madam some i'm confusing with only past i can i can speak uh, present and future uh, without hesitation and without any kind of uh, doubts but madam mm-hmm. uh, most of the time i am getting uh, doubt about only past okay and so past okay. is also very simple past means that happened jo beet gaya hai so we use only v2 correct okay. maine khana khaya i ate okay ma'am i ate so bhi aap past ki baatein kar rahe ho आपको जब इतना ध्यान में अगर जो भी आप पास्ट की बातें कर रहे हो सो एट दैट टाइम यू शुड यू हैव टू यूज पास्ट टेंस यस मैम वी कैन यूज बोलते हैं तो हम पास्ट के बारे में बताते हैं तो उस समय आपको पास्ट टेंस का यूज करना है वर्ब की सेकंड फॉर्म यूज करनी है मैडम प्लीज आई कुडंट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी सो यू कैन इफ यू वांट टू स्पीक सॉरी सॉरी इफ यू आर स्पीक इन द पास्ट ऑफ पास्ट टेंस if you speak about your past what you did yesterday so okay. at that time you should use past tense second form of second form of the verb is it okay yes whatever had happened in the past so at that time we use past tense v2 means second form of the verb okay it's clear and i ate i wrote a letter yesterday okay ma'am yesterday i called you but you did not attend my call yes ma'am ma'am can i say it like this uh, yesterday you were uh, you were called yesterday you, you called, were called you called yesterday you called yesterday yeah. i called you just listen yesterday i called you but you did not attain my call okay ma'am uh, suppose i went to the market 
to purchase grocery okay, okay? yesterday okay. i went to my college but the college was closed is it yes ma'am okay yeah i got hmm uh, do you watch movies no ma'am because english i don't movie, have time. english movies no ma'am uh, i have a schedule that i follow because mm -hmm. uh, i'm pursuing mca so i'm mca student yes i can know that yeah i can understand so i have to focus much more time on my studies and my skills mm -hmm. and that's why i'm not i'm not able to watch movies but i like to watch movies uh, sometimes only when i have free time but not uh, every time suppose that uh, and my lab i have recently i have recently uh, watched movie is animal movie mm -hmm. but when you uh, watch movies just try to watch in english only with subtitles at least give 15 minutes to watch that movie even mm -hmm. i have also not that much time to watch movies but uh, as i am learning this language so i also started to watch movies with subtitles english movies only so when you watch english movies so you will get to know how to pronounce different words what is the exact pronunciation of that word okay. first when you watch watch with subtitles and again watch the same movies without subtitles okay okay yes Can and I, along with that uh, also Uh, you start to read also because reading habit is very important. Yes, ma'am. I'm do daily. I am doing the la doing just. I am daily. I do the type of work because um, I'm always uh, continuously on in front of my books. At present now also in front of my books. So every time I am writing and reading as well as. So, okay. Uh, so what you try? What, madam? as you told that i have my notebook so what type of things you write on your notebook uh the things is related to the my uh, subjects like uh, my class so every day um, every day and every time i am writing in english and also as well as reading also so the type of practice i do yeah that is good habit and yes as you told that uh, you uh, write whatever the activities in your school or college so you write down each and everything so uh, this is very good habit yes ma'am thank you ma'am but if you write write down so we'll get to know uh, which type of sentences i will have to make yes ma'am Ma yeah. uh, one thing madam uh, most of the in my subjects and uh, there is topics the, 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 the i mean that the whole uh, subject and the whole syllabus was uh, devised into the past only there is no any present or future so mm -hmm. so uh, sometimes i am not able to understand a particular sentence how it is formed so suppose that i have listened i have learnt only uh, suppose that one example uh, after after have been or had been we should use verb in the in form okay okay so i will uh, i will have an, another conversation with you and that is you know related to have been had been where we use has been have been so we will discuss uh, at the whole topic properly so you will understand better okay ma'am yes uh, i okay. think uh, uh, two or three days later uh, i will discuss with you this topic okay ma'am thank you yeah you have doubt in has been had been where you yeah. use the and also um Uh, some kind of the doubts also i had uh, suppose that uh, how to uh, form sentence situationally suppose that uh, now uh, now we are speaking so mm -hmm. today our session mm -hmm. so today we just introduced ourselves and also just uh, today we know about what is my level and what is your what is uh, your instructions and your guidance and your suggestions so yes. we just know about this only yes so tomorrow we will discuss about any particular topic any particular yes, so uh, in that time 
I am not able to speak uh, confidently and perfectly. Suppose that, madam, tomorrow we will discuss about suppose that an example, an employment suppose that, or otherwise any festival. So in that situation, I can't speak. Uh, uh, I mean, effectively. I mean, effectively. Mm -hmm. Because why? Because you have no knowledge of that particular topic. If if <laughs> I give you that topic and will say that uh, uh, speak uh, over this topic in your mother tongue. So you okay. will also not make uh, able to speak more if you have no knowledge of that particular topic. Okay. Is it? Yes. Okay. So knowledge is very important. Along with that, related to that topic, vocabulary related to vocabulary of that particular topic is also very important. If you have vocabs of that particular topic, so you will not get stuck. Okay, yes. ma'am, I will definitely try this. Yeah, definitely. If you just, you know, what you do, make small, try to take small topics and um, start to talk on that topic. You can search on Google also so that you will be familiar with many new words and you can write down and uh, try to speak on that topic. Yes, ma'am. This type of thing I have do also I have did already. I mean, mm -hmm. I did all uh, in past days. Suppose that, mm -hmm. madam, I I, I used to uh, I used to read news. Suppose that mm -hmm. uh, nowadays we are having online platforms, so uh, a lot of the applications providing news. Yes. So what is an application? So mm -hmm. it's only in English. That news will be only in English. So yes. every day, right? Every day I do write uh, two or three news, and also mm -hmm. learn vocabulary uh, in that news. Also, I will tell, I will, uh, I will explain myself. Okay. I will explain myself, and also okay. otherwise, uh, as well as uh, I have a one friend that person also uh, try to enhance their skill in English. Mm -hmm. His skill in English. So uh, we both explaining each other, but madam, in that situation. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not able to uh, translate. I mean, uh, suppose, uh, one, suppose that I have seen or uh, have read one news uh, mm -hmm. while explaining, I'm not explaining mm -hmm. so perfectly. That okay. is the main thing. So, as you, you are telling that if you, uh, you read newspaper and you from there you get new words. Yes, uh, new, new words. Okay. New vocabulary. Okay. okay. Yes, new, new vocabulary. And you are not able to use that vocabulary in your own sentences. Yes, ma'am. What are you doing? Yes, ma'am. I know the uh, particular exact meaning of the particular vocabulary. Oh, so, so because you can Google that because it's very simple. You can Google that word. So there are you can type all the sentences written in that uh, you know one particular sentence in uh, that newspaper. So you can type and uh, find out that meaning. This is one way. Or if you find uh, some hard word, so you can uh, find that uh, at the at, when you read when you read the newspaper, and uh, after if you get the hard word, so you will get the meaning where what is the exact meaning in on that particular place. Because yes, uh, one word have different meaning. So what will uh, what is the exact meaning in that particular uh, you know sentence? You can get to know. Yes, ma'am. I know that, ma'am. I'm using Google Translator when I have any doubts or any particular vocabulary I didn't know. I'm using mm -hmm. Google Translator. But, madam, suppose that uh, accompanied, accomplished is a vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So. Or while uh, using sentences, um, that kind of words having different meaning. Suppose that I, I created one sentence to say mm -hmm. with uh, accomplice or accompanied. Accompanied means suppose that Ratan Tata is uh, cast his vote uh, mm -hmm. by accomplice, his uh, assistant. Mm -hmm. It's the sentence. So, yes. but uh, accompanied is having another meaning. Mm -hmm. 
No, that time I'm uh, troubling to uh, speak. I'm troubling to use this type of vocabulary. Means you are not able to understand that meaning in that particular place. Yes, ma'am. Accompanied. Accomplice accompanied. Uh, will you please spell out? Yes, you see. A. C. C. A. T. C. O. O. M. P. E. N. D. I think you are pronouncing wrong. I got madam. Yes, this is the meaning of this and pronunciation accompanied. So if you also, you will also get to know what is the exact pronunciation of that one particular word. If you will type in Google, so it will also show the pronunciation. Yes, because okay. there is a right pronunciation is very important. Otherwise, I will, how I will get to know that exact word. So yes, now you can make different sentences using this word. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So, and along with that, you also tried, you know, the similar meaning of that word, like synonyms of that word. Please, uh, is, yeah, this yeah, all, uh, is this all sessions are free, madam? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, my sessions are totally free. Don't worry. Thank yeah. you, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's my yeah. pleasure, too.